I don't think I've ever looked better. Truly. I am scared to have another kid. Happy oh. accident? I don't freaking know. So exciting. <laughs> Respectfully to my husband, he made me look like an idiot this morning. If you're new here, my name is Brielle. I normally look like a toe, but not this bad. I slept so hard last night, which is great, because if you if you know, I've been struggling with sleep. It's 10.30, my husband woke me up at 8.50, and I'm still struggling to wake up. My skin is looking horrendous right now. What's up, babe? <gasps> you colored us in! Can I show my friends? Look at how cute. I'm not going to do it, but if you push this button up here, it erases. That's what we think is really cool about these boards, huh? Well, I locked it. So oh, didn't... you locked it? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. That's so cute, Greg. I love it, bud. My skin was fantastic and glowing and literally perfect on Saturday, and now we got a zit here. I'm not going to get super close because it's kind of gross, um, but I just have like super dry, like flaky skin right now. So we're going to wash it and take care of it real quick. Grayson is homesick from school. If you watched last week's video, I think it was like a day in the life. He was complaining of a sore throat. We took him to the doctor. He tested negative for everything, but they said it could be the start of a virus. And I think it was because now he has a runny nose and a cough. He seems perfectly fine, but we don't want to be those parents that send our kids to school when they have a cough. Today is normally one of my days where I get a ton of work done during Riser's nap. We're just going to vlog today and see where the day takes us. Thankfully, um, all of my stuff that is due this week is already turned in when it comes to like sponsored posts needing to be approved by the brands. I'm like so self-conscious of my skin right now. I need to just start washing it and stop yapping. Last night, poor Riser. Taylor was getting Riser's humidifier set up and Riser started running into his room and ran straight into the doorframe. He must have like had his lip under his teeth because he bit down and now he's got two little like snake bites and like a fat lip. And the poor guy was bleeding so bad, but once that stopped, Taylor started making a joke about it. He's like, oh, I'm Riser. And then making Ry laugh. And so everyone went to bed happy, thankfully. I don't know what to do about this zit. It hurts so bad. I'm gonna put these because they do help a ton. But then I'm just gonna look silly for the next 10 minutes, but it is what it is. While these sit, they need to sit for like five to 10 minutes. I am gonna go put riser down for a nap. I need to put my glasses on so I can see the world. I I don't think I've ever looked better, truly. Can you watch Bluey? When this episode's over, we're gonna go in it, okay? because Riser has always been so good with naps, so good with sleeping, just a precious human being that I'm like, we're gonna have our hands full with the next one. Tomorrow, I'm actually getting a facial, and it's like a dermaplaning facial where it'll take off the top layer of dead skin and peach fuzz, so I'm so excited about that because the same time I got this, like a few months ago, I had that dry skin stuff and it helped a ton. So fingers crossed it does the same this time. Home reno update, there is a wall up. It is completely mudded and I don't even know what you want to call it. I have to talk to Taylor to see if we're going to show everything after or if we're going to do updates and vlogs. I don't really know. Let me know in the comments what you guys would want to see. Because right now it's just like a gray wall. <laughs> but it is sanded and ready to go to be painted hopefully this weekend. We also built a little like accent wall in our current primary bedroom upstairs. If you were following back when I was in my townhouse, we had a really cool one that Taylor built that went all the way up to the ceiling. This one's a little different. We bought some sconces that are really cute. We actually got them from Urban Outfitters, um, and I think they're coming today, so hopefully we can put those up because I have a partnership coming up. 
with not only a wallpaper company, but also a bedding company. So that was like the reason why we started doing little renovations or that accent wall up there is because you want it because we wanted to make it look aesthetic for those ads. My hair is not hearing. Did you guys hear that? What is that? I'm scared. I guess that's gonna have to do. Let's go get some laundry done because sadly, again, I'm behind. I was so determined to get all of my laundry done the last couple of weeks so that I would only have to do one load of laundry on like Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, no, that has not happened. We are behind again, friends. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but they're currently cutting down my neighbor's tree. It was a giant freaking tree. That was our entertainment for this morning, right Grayson? I was just telling my friends this the other day. I remember growing up, my dad um, would have tree cutting parties with his friends and the wives would be inside with the kids, watching the kids like making margaritas and then the husbands would all be outside cutting down trees. I don't know why I remember that. I don't remember hardly any of my childhood. That's on trauma, but. We sat in our front window in the playroom, Grayson and I, watching them cut down this tree. As I was saying, with Riser being the world's best sleeper, he has slept through all of this, and it's quite literally outside his window. I need another coffee. We didn't go downstairs to do the laundry because they started cutting down the tree, and that was very exciting things, right, Grayson? So I am going to sit on the couch. We're gonna watch an episode of Traders. Grayson cleaned up the entire playroom and all the toys that were laying around. Are you whistling? Good job. I knew you could whistle, but I was just impressed by that. I have some edits that I have to make um, that a brand requested. So I'm going to sit, we're going to watch Traders, and I'm going to do that quickly. I just want to fight for a cause. If I get to know my purpose, I don't know if I'll like it or not. God, I know that you're the answer when I'm searching my mind, I forgot When I'm walking through the fire, I just look toward the light when it's hot Is that look good? Yeah! What are you doing? Don't touch my food! Now is the time of the vlog where we open some packages. Riser said, Mom, let me get a knife. Can you show them your knife that you got? Good knife. I'm gonna be completely honest. I saw this giant, giant box, and I was like, oh, I know what that is. Taylor has a subscription for something, and I was like, that's Taylor's subscription again. I threw it inside. No, no, it is my new sconces that I just chucked inside my house. So, not great. Awkward. The moment of truth. What? Mom. So inside the package is a package with someone else's name on it. So we obviously bought returned ones. It has written on here, inside garage sconces, one of two. Okay, well we ordered two sconces. And not only that, if we're buying used ones or returned ones, we should have gotten a discount. We paid full effing price. Awkward. Yeah, it says Urban Outfitters Direct. I'll cover it up, but Cheryl. Like, right? Am I wrong? Hang on, buddy. We'll open that in a second, okay? It obviously was returned to them. I'm like... So annoyed right now. Because these were not cheap. Like, look at you guys. Are we joking? No. It's missing one of the screws. First of all, they're huge. Second of all, they were supposed to be plug in ones, not wired. How does this happen? Let's open this Aritzia one, which I bought, so I know exactly what it is. I went to Aritzia the other day because I went to brunch with two of my friends and it was right next to the mall of America. And we're like, well, we might as well go to the mall because we drove all the way out here. I already have these sweatpants in a different color and I am obsessed. So I got another one. And honestly, I don't want to be in jeans anymore. So I'll put these on and do a little try on haul for you. Hang on. Take it off, boys. Heather Gray. I love the pockets on the side. It's got pockets in the back. And super comfy. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna make a TikTok calling out Urban Outfitters. <laughs> what the heck is that? It's currently 
currently 3.40, Taylor is home from work. It was just one of those lazy days, if I'm being honest. I'm just now getting to laundry. Um, I am going to be listening to an Audible book. We did start a new one. What was I listening to before? The Love Wager by Lynn Painter, and that was so freaking cute, you guys. It's probably one of my favorite books I've read in a while, or listened to if you ask my friend Paige. But now I'm going to listen to Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez, or Jimenez. Maybe. It is the third book in a sequel, but can be read or listened to as a standalone as well. There's no way. Okay, so long story short, I'm assuming that this washer and dryer are from the 80s, okay? Because we've had so many issues, as you know, with the dryer already. But not only that, they're both plugged into this. Okay, and this thing blows a fuse every other day. You guys, this was probably two days ago. This never even started. What the heck? Add a new washer and dryer to the many lists of things we're doing to this house, apparently. What the actual... I'm like nervous that the laundry detergent sitting so long could have stained the clothes. Okay, so update, we decided rather than putting those sconces upstairs, one, they feel too big, and two, what's it called? I'm a sucker. Good job, Jonas brother. Taylor thinks that it was supposed to come with something to connect the wire so that you could plug it in rather than do hard wire. But since it was used, it did not. So maybe they just forgot to send it back. These holes have been chilling here since we moved in because there was heinous lights. Dude, what if the previous owners watch your vlogs? They're gonna be so mad at you. It'd be a JC Marie Smith's type of situation. She's getting divorced. That's Aspen, babe. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Karma for talking about a poor postpartum mama. Don't pop that switch, please. I'll try not to. I will fall right off of this ladder. Yeah, can you not lean up against it, please? Baby, it's way over here. Okay, but you're very close to it. Ooh, I think those will look sick. Do they jet out too far? It's jut. Jet? No, it's jut. Jut out too far? That's yeah. not the same. Yeah, it comes from the word juttison. Shut up! You know nothing. You're making it up. Your lying face is on. Alexa, what can is in the comments, though, let us know if it's Jet or Jut. Those are cute. You like it? Yeah, those are really cute. Cute! Happy what? accident? My nanny is coming over tomorrow, so we need to clean. So let's do a time lapse while I listen to the Audible book. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know And I was kind of just focusing on me Hi friends, so it is the very next day I am currently driving Oh! That's not gonna happen, sweetheart. There is no other lane, honey. I am on my way to go get a facial. A few months back, I talked about this, but long story short, there's like a very popular, like I would call it a franchise now, facial place that started here in Minnesota. They also started a school, but one of the girls who used to work at the facial place, I got facials from her a lot. She now teaches at the school. So she'll post on her Instagram story when she needs a model, and it's just for her to show the students how to do the facials. But then you get a free facial, and I bring her coffee. She wanted a matcha. So I'm gonna be pulling up right when the facial starts. This is what my skin is currently looking like. I'll see you guys after my facial and hopefully next time I see you, I'll have a nice glow. Okay, one hour later, here we are. Ignore the pimple. I told her it was good though because dermaplaning is the facial that I did where they take off the top layer of dead skin and peach fuzz by kind of like shaving it and they have to avoid um, pimple areas that are still like raised. I was like, oh, by the way, I brought a pimple so that you can use it as a learning moment for the students. <laughs> But that is the skin. Make it a little darker. See if you can see the glow a little better. There you go. It is looking good. I'm going to let it breathe. I am going to quickly fix my eyebrows um, because I don't know why, but my eyebrows are one of my biggest insecurities. They're just always out of whack. I got this refi eyebrow stuff. I'm not loving it in the slightest, if I'm being honest. It also gets super messy. It fills in, but it doesn't hold. Like I've had the boy brow from Gimme Brow. What? Two different things. Gimme brow is tart. No, benefit. 
I don't freaking know. But I've had the boy brow from Glossier and that I just feel like holds my eyebrows and kind of fills them in. Before we had even bought the Urban Outfitters lights that I was showing you guys yesterday, we had bought some other ones off of Amazon and they were more of like a brass than a gold. I'll put the picture in here. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Messy. Look, it like your hair gets in it and then RIP. I feel like that facial did though like bring a lot of pimples to the like skin if that makes sense like brought them up it's now like hey i'm here i'm now at a starbucks i'm gonna get some editing done i am going to edit this vlog and then i have a few tiktoks that i want to edit as well as answer emails etc 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 i only had like half a glass of coffee earlier so definitely need a coffee in my system immediately my nanny is going to take the boys i think to a play park they were gonna go to an indoor park but i might text her it's so nice outside it's 46 which i know to most people you're like what that's nice in minnesota yes yes it is so i might suggest to her that maybe she takes them to an outdoor park because it's been so crappy out but with all that gibberish being said i told her to let me know once riser wakes up because i'm like 30 minutes away from home um and then i'll drive home she can have my car and then i'll keep editing from home A walk around the block? No, around the block. Oh, ha 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 ha. 55 and sunny, and then 43 and rainy on Sunday. Sunday's gonna be a paint the wall day, I think. Paint the wall day. So exciting. Saturday, let's get out and about, dude. Oh, okay, give me just a second. Hey, 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 Hi, can I get a sandwich combo, please? Um, can I get an Arnie Palmer with sweet tea? Is that it? Uh, it extra cane, cane sauce, sauce as well. Is that it there then? What'd you say? I'm sorry. Is that it there then? Yes, that's it. <laughs> Do you want to know what the best part is about you mocking me? Yeah. I'm vlogging. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dead. <laughs> you had one of two guesses, Canes or Chick-fil-A, and you guessed correctly. I have not had Taco Bell in forever. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, but I am that that will make sure that my order is right before I go. And now we may leave. last episode and then I want you to start picking up okay wait pause it no these episodes are long you gotta he'll be in school by the time this episode's done so pause it now we can start that episode later okay yes you used to like when I did that is it cringy now Hi friends, so it is Friday. Grayson is going to school for the first time in two weeks, maybe. Not because school's been closed, but because we've been sick. It started off as just that um, sore throat, and then it did sadly turn into like a virus type that we all got and still recovering from. But Grayson is feeling better. He's like feeling 100%. He doesn't really have any symptoms anymore, so he's going to be going to school, and he is actually very excited about it. He met some kids in our neighborhood and I was so proud of him because he introduced himself. We were all outside and he heard them walking down the street and he's like, hey, how old are you? <laughs> and there was one brother and he's like, oh, I'm eight. And I was like, oh, maybe his brother is closer to your age. And he goes, no, he's also eight. And Grayson's like, you're both the same age? And they're like, yeah, we're twins. I've never met twins before. 
Where's the applesauce? I know we just got a whole new pack. Can you go downstairs and see if you see any applesauce on the shelves? Dope, dude. Thanks. Is there any way you could stop at Target on your way here and pick up fresh fruit, strawberries, raspberries, bananas, blueberries? Um, your message says, is there any way you could stop at Target? Okay, it's sent. Please let me know in the comments, how often do you guys grocery shop? Because we grocery shop probably like one big shop a week and then we'll have to go to the grocery shop, go to the grocery uh -huh grocery store multiple times just get random things here and there i'm like okay do we need a grocery shop like two times a week this is insane goldfish um you're gonna ride with but grayson's going to school great Gray, please hurry please buddy what time your drop off is i can't remember i can't remember what i asked you to do but could you do it i'll do it yeah do you remember if it's 8 35 or 8 45 35 2 45 it is fork. All right. Thank you. Okay. We've got an apple, apple sauce, a spoon. Grayson, veggie straws, uh, Scooby snacks, or Cheez-Its? Okay. Okay. I honestly think his backpack is in my car. So, so Minnesotan of me. So, that for now. And I have to go to the bathroom. Lovely. A donut? A donut? Yeah. Do you want a cake pop or a donut? Donut. Donut? Well, Riser is directionally aware because I literally just pulled into the Starbucks drive through and he's like, we have a cake pop? Actually, no. We have a donut? Respectfully to my husband, he made me look like an idiot this morning because I was like, wait, what time is drop off again? Because Grayson hasn't been to school in freaking two weeks. And he's like, it's at 835. And so I'm like, oh gosh. So I rush out the door. We get there at like 8.43. I'm thinking I'm late. I'm like, oh, can I walk him back to his classroom? And they're like, uh, his teacher will be out in a minute. His drop-off doesn't start till 8.45. So, cool. 